أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Once again I invite you to join this our session where we are having discussion regarding the creation of this universe So in our last session we reached to this conclusion that according to modern science and very famous theory named big bang theory if this universe was created because of big bang theory okay as long as we are following the islamic guidelines the quranic sciences there is no contradiction we can accept the theory of big bang but with some modifications why because if we see the quranic ayah uh, chapter fussilat 41 uh, verse number 11 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying bismillahir rahmanir rahim ثم استوى الى السماء وهي دخان فقال لها وللارض ابتها وللارض ابتيا طوعا او كرها قالت اتينا طائعين so then the, he turned to the heaven and it was smoke and he said to it and to the earth means the heaven and to the earth come willingly and or unwillingly they said we come obediently this obedience ta'in atayna ta'in is very important in this verse why because all the creation in this universe for example for a minute you forget i'm not talking about any Uh, regarding uh, you know religious background but if we go and see and scientist today have researched deeply that in everything up to atom there is a very nice discipline present and that is why if this discipline disturb you you know very well that this universe cannot exist for a second for example if our planet earth uh, you know how it is ro- rotating on its axis or, or and on its path if it has let's say 2 5 meters you know move from its place what would happen either if we come 5 meters towards the sun maybe we will be burned or if we go back to the sun we will be freeze so even single centimeter changes now scientists today they say every year we have because of global warming every after every few years few centi you know centigrade temperature is rising and the glacier is melting but if any planet comes from its place to another place everything will be collapse so this aya is saying that thumm astawa ila samai wa hiya dukhan means the heaven turn this heaven this you know space you see it it, it turn into a smoke so it was a smoke before and what big bang theory is saying because of the blast g- gases released from the uh, you know uh, from that blast and from that debris everything uh, became you know came in existence so also up to here they have also the same story and same uh, proof but then allah subhanahu wa taala has said that i commanded so i commanded and and then they said tawan or karhan either we wish or we do not wish willingly or unwillingly we will you know uh, we will come 
towards you obediently and that is why other than human being other than human being all the creation in this universe and especially the living things and non-living things in this planet earth and everywhere they are totally obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and even if you do not mention God and Creator but of course no one can deny their obedience means their discipline obedience means discipline because uh, I do not have much time to go and elaborate and uh, what does it mean but but it is very clear that obedience means discipline so when Quran says that everything after that says that okay I either we wish or we do not wish because we human being we only we have wish other non-living things they do not have wish so they are obedient and we human being we have wish so we have also choice either we be obedient to God or we do not be obedient to God it is our choice so willingly or unwillingly Bo all the creations of God they have uh, they are submitted or they are obeying to uh, the Lord and the you know creator of this universe so after this ayah, if you see the uh, uh, how Quran is saying uh, that everything was dukhan, everything was uh, you know smoke he, up to here, we do not have problem. And then Quran is saying this after you know everything was expanded and then joined together, and then after joining, when everything cooled down now planets they came in existence our earth even uh, scientists they said that millions years before all the um, all the continents they were joined and because of the uh, heat and 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 the gases uh, you know was running and flowing deep into the center of the earth it started splitting out and continent co continents uh, you know separated from each other and we have now right now like seven continents and it's still scientists they say that now again these continents are coming together close together and after million years might be the africa continent will join to the asia and india will fit you can see on the google and uh, on the youtube there are so many clips like that here so, but what Quran is saying here in this Surah Naziyat, uh, chapter 79, verse number 30, Quran is saying that Wal arda ba'da dhalika dhaha. Means ba'da dhalika means after that expansion, again after that joining, again this earth is separating. And after that, he spread the earth. So earth is continuously spreading out. Even today's scientists they they have accepted that yes so so we can say here that uh, but sometimes people they say how we can uh, accept uh, you know sometimes Quran is saying that um, you know uh, we have created everything in this universe in six days this is very famous amongst people and uh, you know uh, critics they say the Quran saying that we have created universe in six days but there is a big question here that you have not taken the exact meaning of the word of Quran because the Quran is saying when kuffar infidels and other you know people in Arabia they were coming to Holy Prophet and they were taunting that where is your punishment you are warning we us so uh, that if you do not believe if you do not accept Islam you will be punished like that so where is the punishment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, is saying that why is they they rush towards you for punishment Allah does not break his promise what in the yawman now here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is how you saying here meaning yawm means sittata ayyam 
that you said that Quran is saying that I have created this uh, whole universe in six days. In six days, sitat ayam. So look, what does ayam means? First of all, ayam is the plural form of yom. Yom means day, and ayam means days. But what does it mean by the day? You have twenty-four hours here, like today, uh, in our uh, in our solar system. Is it meaning? Uh, you know, is the same meaning? No. Quran in this ayah is saying, "Wa inna yawman and and the day is near Allah in the Rabbika ka alfi sanati." Is as even here, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is not not saying exactly alfa sanati one thousand years. No, ka alfa sanati mima taudun. So. Somehow, sometimes in Quran, yom means one thousand, you know, years, one one day, and in another ayah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in Surah Ma'arij, verse number four, chapter number, uh, you know, seventy, verse number four, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying, "Ta'arujul malaikat wa ruh ilayhi fi yom in kana miqdaru khamsin alfasana." That to him ascend the angels and the spirit in a day, the measure, the measure of which is fifty thousand years. So here Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying that kana mikdaru khamsina alf, that the day will be fifty thousand years, fifty thousand years here. So that is why here most of the interpreter. Uh, uh, of Quran, they say that uh, Allah, uh, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has said in Quran that He has created this plan, this universe in six days. Here, days means in six phases, in six periods, not six days of like uh, we have in a week seven days, so one less six days. No, this doesn't mean. This doesn't mean because Quran is a symbolic language. Quran is ne neither poetry nor prose. Quran is a symbolic language, and that is why there are deep and deep and deep inside meanings inside each and every ayah. So it is scientists they can understand uh, 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 according to uh, you know the the need and 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 evidence. And situation, we can, you know, meaning is changing, but the words are same. So, if we see in the last thing, and I finish in uh, this uh, theory of, uh, you know, Big Bang theory, according to Big Bang theory, they are focusing on atheism. Otherwise, if you remove the idea and philosophy of atheism then we don't mind to accept this theory because quran is not saying clearly that blast happened or neither quran denying or nor quran is accepting exact but yes quran is saying that uh, 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 in the beginning when this universe has created it was in the form of a smoke ka dukhan and then Everything joined together, as we uh, you know discussed before. Everything joined before. So mustawa el samai wa hiya dukhan. فقال لها وللأرض أرض تيا طوعا أو كرها. And then uh, another ayah we uh, you know we we saw that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying in Surah Anbiya that أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ كانت رتقا ففتقناهما وجعلنا من الماء كل شيء حي أفلا يؤمنون سهير الله سبحانه وتعالى يسئن two ayahs first it was in the form of fog means smoke and then Allah joined together and then another again this universe is you know spreading out while all the bad that like the ha ha even not all the another place I, I, I is saying that whole thing is in the form of motion, and today's scientists they say that yes, uh, even galaxies are going towards the black hole. So everything is in the form of 
uh, you know moving in everything Not, nothing in this universe is constant and is steady and you know uh, in one place no everything is moving even electrons are moving protons are moving so atom is moving our our body in living cells either eukaryotic or prokaryotic cell all everything is moving in this world in this universe so if anyone wants to talk about big bang theory the problem major problem of big bang theory theory is if they are denying the creator then please answer who caused the blast what was before that how these things came in existence to you know became blast because if you say everything happens like this so it is not acceptable for example i uh, i took i take a paper this paper and i tear it and it and make it into many pieces and throw into the air now if this paper pieces of paper comes on the earth will they um, uh, be in a very managed way no they will be scattered so if blast happened everything came out uh, then how this everything uh, you know got a very disciplined and accurate accurate uh, way and system so it shows that this was not just without any plan allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything with plan and that is why those people they have the philosophy of uh, atheism atheist atheist people they promote this theory because uh, they they became very happy oh yeah yeah uh, everything has created without any purpose and 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 it came just like just like nothing uh, nothing according to philosophy not islamic philosophy all the philosophers they say that there is nothing in this world you call say coincident no this universe works on the very 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 famous formula of cause and effect everything has cause and then it has effect if everything if you see effect it must have cause so it is impossible and that is why it is our firm belief and quran deeply and uh, very uh, very very clearly explaining that how this universe came in existence and what was before that now uh, it is uh, our duty uh, and our scientists they have to do more research in quran and inshallah uh, we will reach to a nice conclusion. So,